Hello, my name is Joanne and I'm a Senior Applications Engineer in the Kepware Training Department at PTC. Today, I'm going to give you a tour and overview of the Configuration Application Programming Interface, or API, that is part of KepServe X version 6. This feature is included in the course server functionality available with all licenses of KepServer EX version 6, as shown in the technology diagram here. The new configuration API of KepServer EX enables users to leverage HTTP commands, like those used on the web, to make project changes remotely and programmatically. Prior to version 6, the thick user interface for KepServer EX was the only way users were able to configure projects. The configuration user interface runs on the same local Windows operating system as a software install, which means users were required to log in to the local computer. Now, a RESTful interface allows third-party applications such as web clients, SCADA software that supports HTTP and IoT platforms to make project changes to the configuration of KepServer EX both locally and remotely using HTTP commands. These changes include creating, reading, updating, and deleting objects such as channels, devices, and tags in the server. Some examples of how this may be used by Kepler customers are technicians out in the field of an oil and gas, water, wastewater, or power operation that want to make simple remote modifications of the KepServer EX project. System integrators or machine builders that want to author a custom app to provide simple and easy access to the configuration of KepServer EX for their customers. Software administrators with large and constantly changing projects that want to use standard templates for deploying projects and manage all their application settings from one place. Or solution providers that want to embed KepServer EX in a system and make its configuration hidden from system users. Now let's move on to a demo of this feature. Note that this demo will use semdemo.opf project that is loaded in all fresh installs of KepServer EX. To enable the API, right-click on the administration icon for KepServer EX in the task tray on the local machine where the software is installed. Select Settings and open the Configuration API Service tab. Ensure the following settings are configured as follows, and leave any settings not listed at their default. Enable should be set to yes, enable HTTP should be set to yes, and there should be a star in core's allowed origins. Click apply to save the changed settings, leaving the settings window open. From this window, click on the HTTP link. This link opens a web browser that displays the documentation for the configuration API. The supported drivers section lists all the installed driver names and their properties that are accessible through the API. The API documentation section lists all available endpoints and HTTP commands supported. In order to use these commands with the API, users must leverage an HTTP client with authentication capability. For this exercise, third-party software Postman will be used. Note that this is not Kepware or PTC software, and so there is no guarantee on availability, quality, or security of the software, and we do not recommend its use in production. Opening Postman, we're first going to do a git command. Select git from the drop-down menu and enter the following URL. It's the same URL we saw previously, but with projects channels appended on the end. The next step is to add authentication. In the authorization tab, we're going to select basic auth, enter the username administrator and leave the password blank. The password is configurable through the Kepware user manager settings in the administration menu. I'm going to click send and the server will return a JSON object that shows all the channels configured in the current Kepware project. For example, channel one, that's a simulator driver. The next command we're going to do is a post. So we're going to select post from the drop-down menu and we're targeting the same URL with the same authentication settings. But this time we're going to add a body and we're going to add JSON in the body using the raw JSON format that's going to create a Modbus TCP IP channel with the name Modbus. If I send this to the server, it will create a channel of that device type and that name. 
If I look at my server, I can see that that channel was created. Postman is a simple tool that allows us to experiment with the API. However, for a more complex demo, we're going to show you some custom code that we've created in-house to show the power of the API and how it can be used to develop clients. In this custom demo, I can connect to the server. And again, this is all code that we've programmed in the background to pull the information from the server. So I'm doing git commands to get this tree view populated here. I can see all the channels configured. And if I go over to my asset creation tab, I can see other information and create a device under my Bodbuds channel. Hitting create does a post, just like we saw in Postman, and creates that device object under the Modbus channel. I can also create tags. So if I create a tag with a tag data type negative one, I will create a tag with the default data type assigned in CapServer EX. Now I'm going to import a file that I have pre-configured with a JSON template for a Modbus device. Once I import that file, it can create the channel, device, and tag anew from the information in the JSON object contained. So just showing how this could be used to import templates into the server to very quickly create a channel, device, and tag. In this case, the data type 8 means a data type of word. So this is a local instance of the config uh, web client hitting the config API. However, I could change the endpoint URL to be not local and hit a remote machine, thus allowing me to configure CapServerX remotely. The API has the core functionality that leverages HTTP commands and the JSON data format to create, read, update, and delete, or CRUD, channel device and tag objects. For the majority of available drivers and the scheduler plugin for the first release of CapServerX version 6. This enables users to quickly and programmatically create new projects and reproduce projects that are similar. In addition, extended features allow users to add security using HTTP basic authentication and HTTP over SSL, HTTPS. Customize user level access permissions based on the CapServerX user manager and security policies features. And gain insight on project edits and implement version control with transaction logging with configurable levels of verbosity and retention. Visit Capware.com to download a fully functional demo and get started in under five minutes with the Configuration API Made Easy Guide. For users that want to start developing against the API right away, Comprehensive documentation on the API is available in the help file, as well as through the default API URL listed. Note that the configuration API is disabled by default. Finally, for more information on what else is included in CapServer X version 6, the newest major version release of Kepware's flagship product, go to our v6 feature webpage on our website. Other helpful third-party resources for developing against the API include Postman, which I showed you in the demo. The release of CapServer X version 6 and the configuration API highlights Kepware's position in the industry to provide data access with ease to anyone, anywhere, at any time. That concludes the feature tour of the configuration API. Please contact our training, sales, or technical support teams for additional information. Thank you.